Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we have three of the angels and ancestors oracle cards pulled. Now the three cards represent love, career and finance, and just overall energy. So for love, we have the sage card coming up. So it says be devoted and committed. So be devoted and committed to um, learning, being aware of you, uh, learning from past experience, um, be insightful. You're at a place in your love life where maybe things didn't go as you imagined. There's been some ups and some downs, some shakeups, some moving around. Just even some of you having to pivot, you know, kind of change direction or change focus. But you need to learn from that. And you should learn from that. There should be wisdom that comes with uh, that event or that lesson. OK, so you should uh, turn that into sage uh, advice, maybe even given to other people. Just know where you are and be aware. Self-awareness is key here. So it's not about what people have done to you, what situations you are in, but it's about self-awareness. What part did you play? What did you learn? What element of you got you know, brought to the surface that you did like or that you didn't like, you know, asking those questions. So those are questions that will help you be better moving forward in love. And we're going to clarify these cards. So in career and finance, we have the high priest. So the high priest is about, it says in, in, intend and create. So it's about intentions and then creation. It's about the divine spark of, um, of knowledge that comes to you in your psyche, in your mind, and then you taking that knowledge and creating, bringing something to fruition. It's like the magician card here. So the advice here for you in career and finance, get started on something. You have all of these ideas. It's now time to create. It's now time to bring something to fruition. If you have the idea of maybe going from one dynamic to the next, being employed to be an employer, to, from being an employer to going back to being an employee, whatever it may be, you need to move. If you have ideas of um, starting something, a new business, a, a side hustle, a, anything, monetizing a hobby, it says this is prime time. You're getting these, this insight, um, therefore, so that you can uh, be intentional in your actions and create something, create something wonderful, dynamic, because the universe is giving you these inspired messages. All right. Then we have medicine mother for the overall energy. So you just need to understand it's like the queen of swords here. Um, things come and go situations end. it's almost back to like sage. What have you learned? Uh, how can you take this with you? Um, how can this make you better? I don't think that um, maybe an ending is a, you know, is a, a failure or it's detrimental, but an ending is just that maybe so something else can begin. Uh, medicine one woman, honor your inner knowing. So it's like, listen to your intuition also, you know, is speaking to you don't push it down don't push it away um there could be maybe a, a habit or bad pattern or a pattern that is trying to resurface in your life right now and what the medicine woman coming up is saying you need to you know identify that head on and you need to be like the queen of swords you need to cut out that is not valuable to you and, and things that you don't add value to you know so it's just frivolous at at that point if you're not adding value to person, place, thing, what are you there for? And if someone is not, or something is not adding value to you, what is it in your life for? So it's, it's more so you getting 
to a healthier place hence medicine woman um so let's start to, let's start to uh clarify here we have sage and love and romance so it's like you've learned something here you know maybe you have been in a situation again that didn't turn out as you thought maybe you had to pivot you had to turn you had to move you, you kind of like trying to go with the ups and downs of something what is sage can you clarify sage for the aquarius sage for aquarius okay oh exactly like page of wands so yeah this is like a renewed sense of self so it's like releasing maybe toxicity karmic situations relationships that you were just engaging in and you didn't know where it was going being taken for granted or taking someone else for granted um just kind of being on autopilot in a connection in a relationship um this is also being the scapegoat or making someone else the scapegoat here you're letting all of that go the, the page of wants is a renewed sense of self you've let uh the burden that you were carrying go here it, it was too much this could even have been where you were in a situation a relationship where someone made you do all the work they made you carry the the weight of the relationship um they didn't show up for it you know for the connection they knew that you would you would just carry it you just continue to show up without getting either much in return or nothing at all in return but now you're at a place of understanding exploring you know uh, new possibilities maybe even like this sometimes comes up with a makeover or maybe even making yourself over from the inside out um this also is it talks about maybe even a new love interest something fun maybe without form or it just doesn't have a lot of promise but it is fun it's something that you're going to explore the page of wands talks about um doing something on your own terms how you want to do it so maybe you're really releasing here and letting go um you're not trying to be so uh pragmatic so um controlling and have everything have a title and a definition uh therefore you can't engage in it but you're still being intentional in your actions but you're not being so uh dominant and then you're also not taking on what does just doesn't serve you what um this is also for some of you just really coming out of something that just um it was heavy you know it was real heavy you just kept showing up for this and you you know that you weren't going to get what you wanted um either a person or yeah this is love a person showed you what they had to offer but you just kept coming back you kept showing up you let this person maybe even resurface over and over in your life let's clarify the sage with the page of wands Okay, the deck is upside down. So, so it's the Ten of Cups. So some of you, yeah, um, you could have engaged in a relationship that just wasn't real. You know, it, it was had a lot of promise. It felt good. It gave you a very lot, a, a lot of happiness, but something about it just wasn't real. It wasn't realized. You felt like there was a lot of harmony between you and your person here, but it was just more so. Um, it was good feelings and good vibes, and that's pretty much all that this person had to offer anything concrete solid stable this is not what they were offering and it's could it could be that maybe you wanted more or your person wanted more or somebody wants more somebody is immature and somebody's trying to grow or someone needs to grow up here also the ten of cups this could even be someone wanting to reach out to you um and just maybe you know um let bygones be bygones they feel like you'll re reject them because they knew that they took advantage of the connection of the relationship of your personality of, of um your good heart or your good nature it's like this person just wants they also want that, that feeling back you also could have made them feel very happy very good about themselves um this could even be like an ego stroke like maybe they they, they want to know if that if they reach out to you will you reciprocate what is this about yeah the two of cups yeah this person really wants to 
just um, have forgiveness happen between the two of you. Um, you said, let the love flow between you and someone else. You know, this could be you. You could want to reconcile also. Yeah, the King of Wands. Uh, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This could be a male, male Cancer also. Um, this can sometimes come up for Gemini too. Um, this person is desiring to have the connection back. You may have two people vying for your attention. But you could be holding back or they're holding back. Somebody sees you as long term. They want you in their life forever. Now, is it that they want to give you what you deserve? What you want? Maybe. Maybe not. But they do see you as a forever person. This person, um... They're looking at the bigger picture of things. They also could be looking at what you bring to them. What part you play in their lives. But we don't want to get too far deep in them into them. Let's see what um, career and finance has to offer us for a high priestess. So we need to be intentional and create. Yeah, we have dreams here. Whatever you're dreaming about, whatever you're hoping and wishing for, it could be in the beauty, fashion, uh, industry, or cosmetic, or something of that nature. Um, it could be in any. It could be in any uh, field where you are creative. Whatever your dreams are, you need to manifest them. How do you manifest them? So um, you get very practical. What do you do now in the here and now to bring this about? Um, spirit can go, but so far they can nudge you they can push you they can line things up for you but if you do nothing then you do nothing so you need to be intentional and you need to create the page of cups sometimes talks about being too dreamy um you need to be less dreamy and more action oriented okay um so that's for some of you let's see what else do we have for a career in finance you have judgment so you need to make a decision here are you in or are you out? Do you really want this? You need to release and relinquish all the negativity, maybe a past failure or things not working out. Or maybe you um, thinking the worst will happen. Yeah, the five of pentacles. You need to come out of the energy of lack mindset. You know, um, if you're trying to create from a five of pentacles type of energy, then it'll always be a place of um, creating from from nothing or from a, a lack mindset where you you'll get bogged down in in the reality and not really thinking about what can be keep in mind you're a co-creator with the universe you know so it's like the universe is trying to give you all these good ideas but you may be looking at where you are right now you know you, you don't have enough you don't have enough money you don't know what to do you don't have enough knowledge this and that you know you, ha you have so many different uh, obstacles before you but what can you do now it says um do the possible you know for the possible is for us to do the impossible is for god's spirit to do yeah queen of pentacles so you need to be focused on um, money focus on the pentacle focus on bringing in a new stream of income focus on growth nurturing something so that means you're going to have to um, really look after it you're gonna have to baby it you're gonna have to uh, feed it feed your dreams feed um, yeah feed your dreams here feed your hopes your wishes um, what do you feed hopes and dreams and wishes you feed them with um, maybe practical knowledge of if I want to start a mechanic shop or whatever then I need to do research in terms of okay how do I get a, sh a place a shop and what type of license and certification do I need and um, how much square foot footage would I need to open a mechanic shop uh, what specialty am I going to work on all cars or specific set of cars I mean you there's so much you know that you can do now that costs you nothing especially if you are saying, well, I don't have the money to start my own business. Well, the start isn't just money. The start is a mindset. 
and the universe wants you to get in that mindset of creation you know getting it done so that, that's where you are you know all right, medicine woman. We got medicine woman for the overall energy. Medicine woman for the overall energy. The king of pentacles. All right, so the medicine woman, it just talks about um, don't let old patterns uh, resurface, especially when you come into power, when you get some money, when you get some prestige, when you get, uh, you know, a taste of uh, maybe the good life or um they want you to be more systematic and methodical and mathematical. Like you need to be, things need to add up. It needs to make sense before you actually engage. Some of you just jump out there on a ledge because it sounds good. You know, you're good at it, but if you don't have a plan, you don't have a plan, you know, you, no plan is a plan to fail, right? Or however that saying goes, but, um, it's just like more so um, think about what you're doing. You know, you can have somebody come in and help you also with the King of Pentacles help you in terms of business endeavors, maybe even in love. It could be both. This person has a lot of power. They've done a lot. They are successful by their own hand. So that means that they know what it's like to work. Yeah. You have Page of Pentacles and then the Knight of Pentacles. Nothing but money coming in for you. So it's like the universe is trying to tell you that like money is coming in for you, but you need to be more practical and systematic about, take a systematic and practical approach. You need to be more grounded. You know, you need to kind of get into a meditative state and really understand where you're going with this thing. Especially if it's um, you having a business idea that's making you restless. You know, with the nine of pentacles. It says that you're going to be at a place where you're going to have a lot of power. You're going to have financial stability. But again, the page of pentacles talks about manifestation. It talks about consistency. It talks about planning. It talks about good health, the health of. Um, it also talks about um, divination. That's why I said meditate. It's like the universe is really going to start to push you and give you great insight as to what to do, especially with your money. You know, don't let it slip through your hands is kind of what I'm getting. Let's see what the Kipper deck has to offer for you for the near future. The near future for the Aquarius. We have pathway. Yeah, so you're going to be doing something different. Okay, something that's opened up, a new pathway is opening up for you where you can transition into maybe even a new person, a new way of living, a new uh, being, you know. Yeah, house here. Some of you could, something is arriving in your life, you know. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be something that you're going to have to be committed to. You know, you're going to have to make the commitment. You're going to have to be devoted to this, devoted to growth with that. Um, you got the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles so it's like you have to um be committed and devoted to this you have to be practical and grounded you have to be focused on money and where's it going you know um you have to be uh have a good work ethic also uh, do something day in and day out every single day you have to prioritize and place value okay um, and that could be in a relationship and that could be in career and finance. It could be in both. Let's see. Where is Aquarius in the near future? Expectations. So you're expecting something here. You're in a place of waiting, you know, uh, you're waiting for maybe money or you're waiting for an opportunity or someone's waiting for you or you're waiting for them to reach out. So some of you are just have stopped engaging with somebody here with a uh, masculine energy and you could be a man too. It doesn't matter. It could be same sex. Um, and, and then it could be, um, yeah, it could be same sex. Uh, you stop giving to something or to someone and now they're in a place of just wondering what the hell is going on. Like, is this person going to reach out to me? Do I reach out to them? 
they're in a real dreamy state. They could also be going through like some spiritual awakening. They're realizing your worth, you know, just X, Y, and Z with them. They're also, you know, kind of becoming a little bit depressed in their emotions about you and their thoughts because they, they thought that by now you would have, you fill in the blank, reached out, called, shown up, made amends. I don't know. This person feels like, yeah, they, um, they just feel like this is different. This is different of the Aquarius or Aquarius. You feel this way about someone. Yeah. Because they had grown complacent with your behavior with the nature of the relationship they just knew like oh you take a break and then you come back but it's like now this person is wondering like i don't know it's it's almost like an energy of this person is saying i can't feel the aquarius maybe you guys have a strong connection now they can't feel you liar wanted to show up um i don't know what for maybe this person lied to you you lied to them or um, someone is painting you out to be a liar um We've got March. March is significant. And then we have soft. Um, I know that the universe is softly speaking to you about what it is you need to create, what you need to get busy on, what you need to be putting your time, energy, effort into. Um, March is significant. This is a time to create. This is the third month of the year. Threes are about creation, the initial stages of creation get it done Aquarius is what the universe is saying because we're backing you is is what the universe is yelling at you yeah lust all right so somebody could be lusting for you lusting after you um they were a liar uh what you engaged in what this person was just yeah with this king of wands this could be somebody who's already committed this could be someone this is a person who is very sexual they could be very sexual or they're very passionate um even into their old age or older age they could just they could be out here procreating having children having sex whatever it this person really never slows down there's not like a dull moment with this person and they don't like that um they have a lot of lust for you a lot of desire for you and maybe even other people this is a very um passionate person yeah with you I, I think they found security or they thought you would that you would be their security like you would be in their back pocket yeah, something about strong um they felt like you are strong you are resilient um also you're going to have financial security you could have a lot of abundance come to you aquarius and the universe wants you to maintain it by um, having some strong convictions about what you won't do, what you will do, what you will not engage in, and what you will not give your money, time, effort, your valuable uh, energy to. You know, hard to handle. So someone could have been hard to handle. Some of you, you felt like in the past, money was hard to handle. You, it always, you know, uh, it always got away from you. It always eludes you. Yeah, this person was hiding several secret affairs from you. Um it was not just you uh, this person is not divorcing they're not divorcing or letting go of you or another person house is in reverse so they could be in an upside down relationship or maybe even in a home that is upside down it's chaos um, you could be seeing through to them or seeing through them um, that this person is just irrational you can't reason with them you can't be rational with them you can't have a rational conversation with them they're all over the place they play victim uh they move the goalposts every time you try to talk to them every time you try to you know just be calm you know they don't want that you know gossip about you this person just really can't settle down because of fomo fear of missing out you know, and again, this person can't tolerate the fact that maybe you have just grown, gone cold on them or, you know, weeks of no communication or vice versa. This is what they've done to you. This person was giving you, they were stressing you out, giving you gray hair. or You dealt with this for a very long time. You know, this person could be older, um, older than you also. 
you dealt with, you know, the back and forth behavior for a low time. This person could just be an overall low life. Or they like to engage with low life individuals, just low vibing people. They don't want to better themselves. It's just not where they are. And we don't, you know, look down on those people. We just pray for them and hope that they get to a place where they, you know, want better. But, you know, if they don't want it, you can't give it to them. So, um, yeah, this person is a low life or they like to be around that energy. They don't want to be around anything or anyone who's doing better um, or wants better or talks about better. No. Or, or higher ascension. Yeah. Um, it's like you, you realize in Aquarius that you're deserving of so much more because you're so resourceful. You have so much to give. Now this person is in the energy of maybe being obsessed with you staring at your picture for hours they wanted to keep you in the energy of you know being a part of some plural relationship where there was just more than you they also could have just wanted to keep you on the side you know um side chick side dude whatever forever yeah you felt like this was way too long to be dealing with this okay way too long to be dealing with it you could have found out something on your anniversary or something was significant on your anniversary or you you felt like you just i'm just dealing with this way too long i have there has to be a stopping point and i have to determine that and for some of you you told this person maybe via text it's over or i'm done okay uh we'll get a few more and then we'll close out yeah you need to be focused on the business the business of you you know Maybe even your own business here, um, if, you, if you want to start a business, but definitely the business of you handling your business. Okay, whatever you need to do, um, you need to be focused on that. Um, maybe this relationship, this person has you focused on everything else except for the business you need to handle. Okay, and they have your head in the clouds. There's not a lot of dreamy energy here. Let's see. We're going to close out with a butterfly oracle deck in terms of we're going to ask the question what should aquarius be focused on moving forward what should aquarius be focused on moving forward family changes so there could be a moving in a moving out a going to college a coming back from college uh, a new baby a new car a new home it's something that affects more than one person you know it uh, family changes there could be divorce could be separation could be marriage could be moving in together it could be anything think of something that affects a, a whole not just one all right so let's see what else should aquarius be moving? yeah spiritual growth maybe you dealt with a particular thing person because it came into your life again um, with the medicine, uh, medicine mother and sage, it came into your life to show you um, some things about you to help you grow, to push you to spirituality also for some of you. So this is a really good thing. Don't look at it as a negative. Um, it is what it is. What can you do now but move forward? So maybe something came into your life. It, you know, it caused adversity. But it was for you to grow. Maybe you went through a tough time. You went through a rough time. You went through destitution, not having enough, being homeless, being without, having to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps, um, having to lean on spirit, God, angels, whatever it is you believe in uh, to move forward. Maybe it was more so a tearing down just to build you back up, you know, Um so some of you that's what you went through what should you be focused on parental care some of you have elderly parents um elderly people around you You need to focus on giving a little bit more time energy effort to um, those who are you know up in age um you know i know life goes so fast but um literally life goes so fast we're here today we could be gone tomorrow so take time you know also for some of you you have children you know, and you need to um, put a little bit more time into asking questions and necessary questions of your ch of your children, uh, especially if you if you uh, have concerns, don't put it off until tomorrow. You know, ask today. So let's see. 
relationship dynamics. You need to be focused on that. So the relationship dynamic says that something has changed, okay? It's gone from one dynamic to the next. Maybe we were happy to now we're unhappy. We were divorcing to now we're working on it. Uh, there was a third party, now you got rid of the third party. It, you know, so one dynamic to the next. Whatever it is for you, this could be in love and romance. It could be with uh, your family. It could be in business. But you need to focus on the relationship dynamic. It also talks about feeling differently about something because the dynamic has changed. It has shifted. It's altered. So um, you need to explore that too. It talks about maybe even mediation that or the need for it. You need a third party to help mediate how you feel, how your person feels, the end of an era. All right. So if you dealt with uh, lack in every area of your life, or at least in one or two areas or all, I don't know, know that that era, that era of lack, lack mentality of not having enough is over. Don't rest in that energy. Know that something new is uh, embarking, you know, for you, or you're embarking on something new here. Um, healing from the past it's just like the universe just wants you to let it go release relinquish it doesn't serve you you're going to get nowhere with it the end of an era is here for you newness is here betterment is here for you a new way of existing a new life maybe you've always been in poverty or you've been around people who have been you know have kept you in an impoverished state whether it was monetarily mentally or even physically uh, maybe you have always been in negative relationships well if you have gone through the spiritual growth if you are embarking on healing from the past then know that in your near future distant horizons you can have so much better better than what you have already gone through better than what you have done okay uh, and that's what the universe really wants you to be focused on focus on that and focus on the fact that a bad time doesn't last always. It's time for you to walk into the summertime, the happy time of your life, Aquarius. And if you believe it, you can achieve it. You can have it. But if you still believe that this is negativity, this is your life, this is what it is, then that's where you will be. But know that the will is turning for you, has turned for you. If that's so much more is on the other side of life. So do me this favor. Keep waking up, because if you don't do that, then we've got a big problem on our hand. <laughs> we've got a big problem on our hand there. So just do that. Just keep on waking up. That's all you have to do, because so much more is in store for you, Aquarius. All right. That's what I have. I hope that it resonates. Hope you took something from the reading. If you did, give something back. You know, you could buy me a coffee. The link is below. You could also get your own personal reading at the website level don't need to email me or send a text message requesting a reading go to the website and book there all right and if you have one question or two you could text it to the number below and you can get your question answered in that way you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i come do a collective reading for all 12 zodiac signs and then i answer your questions so Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.